The cult of personality, CM Punk this week told the truth about AEW, told the truth about Tony Khan, and just like his old theme song, This Fire Burns, he has lit a fire in several people in AEW, and he is burning that shit down. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. It wasn't long after CM Punk and his controversial interview that we have the AEW wrestlers, the nerds, the Tony Khan fan boys coming out from all different angles, all different sizes, all different avenues. They're coming out to defend Tony Khan, defend AEW and try and make it CM Punk to be the bad guy. We've seen Edge do it to kick off Dynamite. I mean, holy crap. Dynamite, the flagship show, you know, the A show. And the first thing we get on the show is Edge basically coming out, having to defend CM Punk's words in an interview, claiming that this place is great, it's not like CM Punk say, this place is making professional wrestling better, pathetic. And since then, we've had Dax Harwood cut a promo live after a show on AEW, and we've also had Eddie Kingston come out and get mad in an interview. So, we'll start with... We'll start with Dax Harwood first. So after AEW Dynamite went off the air, uh, Collision was taped, obviously, and during the taping, Dax Harwood responded to CM Punk. Now, I'm not too sure whether or not this will actually make the Collision show. I'm going to assume not, but with Tony Khan, you never know. He might want this to be broadcasted because it's someone basically defending him and, and trying to defend what CM Punk said. But yeah, Dax Harwood, after FTR's match, took the mic and responded to what Punk said in a message to the live crowd. That's what Dax Harwood had to say. He said, quote, there's going to be somebody who tries to strip it down, strip it from you, take it away from you, take your joy away. Don't let them do it. Don't let them. I don't care if they're in real life. I don't care if it's on fake life, social media. I don't care if it's in another company. Don't let anybody strip you of what you love and what you're passionate about and what you wake up for every single day. I know it. I talk about it. I talk about it to the point of annoyance. I have kind of perceived to be my god, my side, my daughter and professional wrestling. And that's it. That's all I got. AEW affords me that luxury. AEW affords me that life and now not only does AEW afford me that life they afford me to do it with my best friends in front of all you people <laughs> end of quote I mean how corny is this Dax Harwood oh I don't care what Punk said oh this company provides and I get to be with my friends I mean what the hell talking about God talking about this luxury don't let CM Punk strip what we've got away from us guys Grow the fuck up. CM Punk gave us an opinion. He gave us an opinion in an interview. Big deal. He, he, he thinks that a lot of the people in AEW are childish. He thinks that they do not deserve to be in this company. And he thinks that Tony Khan is, despite being a nice guy, he doesn't think he's capable of being a leader. And he's bloody not. He is not capable of being a leader. That is painfully obvious. CM Punk isn't trying to get people fired. He's not trying to take AEW down. He's not trying to, you know, get everybody out of a job or take your life away or take your family away. He literally did an interview and gave his opinion on the company and everyone is absolutely losing their shit trying to make out that Punk is coming for them and that they need to defend themselves and band together and it's absolutely pathetic. We also had Cody Rhodes, I'll give a quick mention to Cody Rhodes, he came out and basically says that Tony Khan's uh, not like CM Punk suggested and that he's friends with Punk and he's friends with Khan, he's friends with the Young Bucks. Uh, it was just Cody Rhodes sitting on the fence. I mean Cody Rhodes might be a good wrestler, he might be a good personality, but he's not an EVP, and neither are the fucking Young Bucks. So, anyways, I, I knew Cody Rhodes would just sit on the fence. It's what it is. doesn't really matter. One guy, though, that isn't sitting on the fence is Eddie Kingston, probably because his fat ass wouldn't be able to sit on a fence without it breaking. But he did an interview with Adrian Hernandez. No idea who Adrian Hernandez is. That kind of sums up the kind of people that can get Eddie Kingston to do an interview. Ad Adrian Hernandez, a nobody. Anyway... Kingston was asked about Punk's comments, and this is how Eddie replied. And he did say that he wasn't angry, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Eddie Kingston said, and I quote, He don't work for us, I don't give a fuck. 
honestly, honestly, he don't work for AEW, so I don't care. That's it. I'm not even mad. If it sounds like I'm mad, it's just the way I talk. But no, I don't care. I know what other people do, but I really don't give a fuck because he doesn't work for AEW. That's the way I look at it. If he worked for AEW and did that, then I might feel a certain way for a little bit. Then I would just let it go and go and whelp. That's Phil. Punk being Phil. Can't control him. That's his thing. He ain't me. I ain't him. So no, he doesn't. So I don't care what he does. End of quote. So, I mean, one minute he's saying he's not angry. He, he's dropping F-bombs like the, they're running out tomorrow. And then he talks about he would whelp. I mean, what the heck? He would go and whelp? What the heck? So if Punk worked at AEW and he said this stuff, I mean... Kingston would go and, what, cry in a corner <laughs> because Punk said something negative about his company. A company man, a guy that's all elite says something negative about AEW and Eddie Kingston's just going to go and cry <laughs> in the ring, cry in the corner. I mean, Eddie Kingston was almost crying about 10 people being released from AEW. It was actually funny. He was talking about how he's so worried about these guys and that he doesn't know if they're going to be okay and he's praying for them and he's worried about them. And he says that he doesn't know if it's fair or not fair. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Seriously, Eddie Kingston, just another sad excuse to a wrestler. I'm not sure how much he gets paid. I'm not sure his salary, but the guy doesn't deserve a dime. You look at AEW, it's just full of, it's full of wannabes. You know, it's full of marks. It's full of guys that probably... Ended up watching wrestling, never really put the work in to get there, but Tony Khan has just gave them these big massive contracts. I mean, it's guys that would never cut it in previous errors. I mean, you, you look at the way Eddie Kingston gets on, you look at the way the Young Bucks get on, and Jack Perry. I mean, these guys would have never made it to TV if they came through WWE or they came through like... WCW and Attitude Era, man. These guys would have been... They, they, they would have left. They would have walked out, man. They'd have been bullied to the point of no return. They would they would not have stuck around. But all of a sudden, you've got these like fragile, mentally almost ill people in the wrestling business. And, and, and they're making huge money. Thanks to Tony Khan. It, it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, Kingston says he's not annoyed. But he's dropping the F-bombs here, there, everywhere. Kind of does sound like Eddie Kingston is annoyed and I wonder who will be the latest wrestler to come out and speak against CM Punk but this is all embarrassing just because Punk gave an opinion, just because Punk says what he believes AEW is and what he believes Tony Khan is and all of a sudden you know people are hating on Punk, people cannot handle an opinion. It's sad. It really is sad, but, you know, I guess that's what they say, truth hurts, and in this situation, it looks like CM Punk's truth is hurting everybody a lot in AEW. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it. Keep you updated if there is any more elite wrestlers, so-called, I use that with quotation marks, elite, because there's nothing really about them is elite. Maybe elite bitches, elite crybabies, but... In terms of elite wrestlers and performers and men, absolutely not. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's more people here responding to Punk. And if there is, we'll keep you updated on that. But we've been Fog Wrestling, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Till then, though. Peace.